Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung S Pen Pro and in this video I am going to show you how to use this S Pen with 22 tips and tricks. So let's start. The first tip is about taking notes on top of videos. For example, you are having a lecture or you are watching some kind of video and you want to take notes in the meantime. So just press this S Pen Pro button and then tap on the screen two times like this. It will open the Samsung notes and here you can start taking your notes. The next thing is you can see this note taking app is blocking the view behind. So what you can do is select this blue bar then select this opacity icon and then you can reduce the opacity of this note taking app. Now you can see the video behind and you can also take your notes. The next thing is you can also do the screen recording of your note taking and the video behind. So just bring down this quick panel, select the screen recorder and then select start recording. So after this countdown your screen recording will start. The next thing is if you want to highlight anything important in your video or on your notes select this S Pen from the video recorder and then you can highlight anything important in your screen. The next thing is you can also turn on the front camera. So here is the front camera icon you can select it and here you can see the front camera is now turned on. You can also change the location of this front camera as well. Once you finish with your screen recording you can select this stop option and your screen recording will save in your gallery so later you can access it and you can edit it and you can share it. The next tip is about screen off memo. For example, your screen is locked and you are in a hurry and you want to write something important. So just press this S Pen Pro button and then tap on the screen two times like this. It will open the screen off memo and here you can write anything important. Once you finish with your writing, you can select this save option and it will be saved in your Samsung notes and later you can access it. The next tip is about adding text to notes. For example, you are scrolling through a website and you find some interesting information and you want to save it. So just press this S Pen Pro button and then start selecting the text. So for example, I will select this text till here. Now once you finish with your selection, here you can see you have this option of add to note. So select this add to note option, the same text will be added to you notes and then later if you want you can also edit it if you want to highlight it you can use this highlighter option as well if you scroll to the top the link for the same website is also available for example I will make it full size okay and now you can see this link in my notes now if I want to open it I will just select it from here and it will open the same website with the same highlighted text if you want to delete delete this link just press and hold it like this and select this delete option. The next tip is about dragging image from a website to my notes. So here you can see I open this note taking app. For example, I will take out the edge panel and then I will open this internet browser in split screen. Now here you can see I open this website and now for example, I want to bring this image to my notes. I will use my S Pen Pro and then I will press and hold it like this and then I can easily drag and drop this image to my notes. And later if you want, you can crop it you can edit it if you want to do the labeling you can also do it the next thing is for example you want to bring any text from a website to your notes so for example I like this text and I want this text to my notes again I will use my S Pen Pro first of all I will start selecting this text so I will select it till here now again I will press and hold it like this and I can also drag this text to my notes and then later if you you want you can also edit this text select this keyboard icon and then from here you can also do the editing of this text the next thing is you can also use other tools for example if you want to highlight this text you can also use the highlighter 
The next step is about PowerPoint presentations. For example, I will open my PowerPoint slides and then from here I will select this presentation option. Now for example, if you want to move to the next slide, you just have to press this S Pen Pro button one time. So I will press this button one time like this and here you can see it will move to the next slide. If I press this S Pen Pro button again, here you can see it will move to the next slide. So this is how you can use it for PowerPoint presentations. If you want to go back to the previous slide, you have to press this S Pen Pro button two times. So I will press it two times like this. Here you can see it will go back to the previous slide. And then if I press it again, and here you can see it will move back to the first slide. The next tip is about connecting your S Pen for multiple Samsung devices. So here on this side I have tab S6 Lite 2024 and here I have tab Active 4 Pro. Now for example this S Pen Pro is already connected with this tab S6 Lite but I want to connect it with tab Active 4 Pro. So I will press and hold this connection button for 3 seconds. So I will press and hold this button for 3 seconds and then you will see this LED light will start to blink and then on your device it will show you your S Pen Pro and it is showing you the connection option. So I will select this connect option and now it will start making the connection with tab active 4 Pro. So here you can see my S Pen Pro is now connected with my tab active 4 Pro. Now if you want to use it you can use it in your tab active 4 Pro. The next thing is you can use the same S Pen Pro for tab S6 Lite as well. I open my notes and here I can also start taking my notes using the same S Pen Pro. So the only difference is for air actions now you can only use it for this tablet. So for example if I want to turn on the camera I will press and hold this S Pen Pro button. So I will press and hold it like this. It will turn on the camera on my tab Active 4 Pro. The next thing that I want to mention here is at the bottom side of this S Pen Pro we have this S Pen and Z Fold switch. So if you want to use it any Z Fold device you can switch it to the Z Fold side so it will work best with Z Fold devices because of the sensitive screen. And then for all other Samsung devices you can switch it to this S Pen mode. The next tip is about S Pen to text feature. For example, I open my internet browser and here I want to search something on Google. So instead of typing, I will use my S Pen Pro. So I will select this search bar and then I will start writing. So for example, I want to search about heart anatomy. So here I will write heart anatomy with my S Pen Pro. So here you can see it will convert it into the text and then then I will select the search option and then it will show me the results. The next thing is you can also use it in the URL section. So here I will select this URL, I will cut it and then here I can write name of the website. For example here I will write samsung.com so you can see it will convert it into the text. I will select this go option and then it will open the Samsung website for me. The next tip is about air action for camera control. For example, if I press and hold this S Pen Pro button, it will turn on the camera on my tablet. Now for example, if I want to switch to the front camera, again I will press this S Pen Pro button and then I will do air gesture like this. So here you can see the front camera is now turned on. Now for example, if you want to take the picture, again press this S Pen Pro button so you can press it like this and it will take the picture for you. The next thing is for example you want to switch to the video mode. So again press this S Pen Pro button and then just do this air gesture. So I will press this S Pen Pro button and then I will do this air gesture. So now you can see the video mode is turned on. Now for example if you want to record the video again press this S Pen Pro button. So I will press this S Pen Pro button and here you can see the video recording is started. Now if you want to stop the video recording again press the S Pen Pro button and the video recording is stopped. So this is how you can use the S Pen Pro button for air actions.
The next step is about air actions for media control. For example, I want to play this video. So I will press this S Pen Pro button one time. So I will press it one time like this and you can see the video will start playing. Now for example, if you want to pause this video, so you have to press this S Pen Pro button one time like this and the video will pause. So this is how you can use the S Pen Pro button for air action. Now for example, you want to move to the next video so you have to press this s pen pro button two times so i will press it two times like this and you can see the next video will start playing the next step is about find your s pen pro so open the samsung folder and here you see this smart things app you can open this app now here inside smart things app here you can see you have this option of life so select this life option and here you can see we have this S Pen Pro icon. So you can select it and then you can select this map from here. So it will open the exact location for your S Pen Pro. The next thing is you can also use these options. For example, if you want to blink this LED light, you can select it from here and then it will start blinking your S Pen Pro light. If you want to stop it, you can stop it from here the next thing is you can select this more option and then here you can enable this option of notify when left behind so you can enable it from here and then whenever you left your s pen pro somewhere it will notify you the next step is about screen write option. For example, you are reading a book and you find some interesting information and you want to share that information. So you can press and hold the S Pen Pro button and then just do this shake action. It will take the screenshot for you and then if you want to write something, you can use your S Pen Pro and then for example, if you want to highlight something important on your screenshot, you can also do it once you finish with your editing select this share icon and then it will show you different platforms and then you can share your screenshot the next step is about smart select tool for example you want to select a specific part of the screen you can use your s pen pro for example i want to select this painting so i will open the air command and then i will open the smart select tool and then i will use my s pen pro for making the selection so i want to select this painting so i will select it till here now you can see this painting is selected now you can pin it or you can copy it for example i will copy this painting and now this painting will be copied to my clipboard for example i open my notes and here i want to bring that painting so i will take out this edge panel and then i will scroll to the clipboard and here we have this painting i will use my s pen pro i will press and hold it like this and then i can easily drag and drop it here in in my notes. The next step is about extracting text from an image. For example, I open this image from my gallery and now I want to extract all of this text. So I will just select this image and here you can see we have this T icon. So you can select this T icon. It will highlight all the text in the image. Now you can use your S Pen Pro and just select one of the text. So I will press and hold it like this. And then here you can see we have this option of select all. So you can use this select all option. It will select all the text. Now you can use this copy option or share option. For example, I will copy all of this text. Now this text will be available in my clipboard. So for example, I open my notes and now I want to bring that text. So I will take out this edge panel and then I will scroll to the clipboard and here you can see I have all this text available here in my clipboard. I can use my S Pen Pro and then I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this text in my notes. The next step is about translation. So you can use your S Pen Pro for translation purposes as well. For example, I open this Samsung website in Japanese. Now I want to translate it. So I will open the air command tool and then I will open the translation feature. Now I will use my S Pen Pro and then I just bring it closer to the text. So I will bring it closer. So here you can see it is showing me the translation from Japanese 
to English. And for example, if I want to translate this text, so here you can see it is also doing the translation for me. Now you can also change the languages. So here you can see here I have this Japanese to English, but if I select this Japanese, it will show me all the other available languages. You can also use your S Pen Pro for PDF signatures. For example, I open my files and then from here I open this PDF file and then you can select any of these apps. For example, I select Samsung Notes and then I will open this PDF file. Now I want to do the signature on this PDF file. So for example, I want to sign here. So I will select this edit option. I will use my S Pen Pro and I can easily sign on this PDF file. Once you finish, you can select this save option. The next tip is about writing on videos. For example, I open this video in my gallery and now I want to write on this video. So I will select this edit option and then it will open the editor. And then from here select this decorations icon and then from here you can select this draw option. You can select any of these pens and now you can use your S Pen Pro to draw on your video. So for example, I want to write something. I can use my S Pen Pro to write. Once you finish, you can select this done option and now you can play it from here. So this is how it looks like after you finish. So you can save it and then you can share it. The next tip is about writing on calendar. So open the air command and then open the write on calendar app. Now, for example, you want to write for 22nd of May. You can just zoom in like this. And then here you can see at bottom, we have tools available. You can select this pen tool and here you can see we have different pen option. You can change the thickness. You can change the style and you can also change the color. Now, for example, I want to write something over here so you can see I can easily write on my calendar. Once you finish with your writing, you can save it from here. The next thing is, for example, if you want to edit it or if you want to remove it. So here we have this edit icon. You can select it. And then here, for example, I want to erase this handwriting. So I will use this eraser tool and then I can easily erase it. The next tip is about switching your favorite pens inside Samsung Notes. So I will open my notes and here I will start writing using my S Pen Pro. Now I want to move to my next favorite pen. I will press this S Pen Pro button one time. So I will press it like this. It will switch to the next favorite pen and then here I can start writing. And now for example, I want to move to the next favorite pen. Again, I will press this S Pen pen pro button one time like this and here you can see it will switch to the next favorite pen so same way i can press it again and then i can use the next pen so how to edit and how to customize these favorite pens so select this pen icon and then from here you can see we have this pen with star shape so you can just select it and here you can see i have these four favorite pens if you want to add select this plus icon and then from here you can select any of your favorite favorite pen or you can also select any of these highlighters and then select done from here and you can see a new pen is added to your favorite pen list. The next thing that I want to mention here is about the compatibility for S Pen Pro. So guys, here is the list for the devices. So it is compatible with Z Fold 3, Z Fold 4, Z Fold 5, and then with S22 Ultra, S23 Ultra, S24 Ultra, and then with S series tablets. For example, S9 series, S8 series, S7 series, and then it is also compatible with Galaxy Book 3. Now I will show you how to connect S Pen Pro with your Samsung devices. So first of all, open the settings and then scroll down. And here you can see you have this option of advanced features. So you can select it. Once you go inside advanced features, here you can see you have this option of S Pen. So you can select it. Once you go inside S Pen on top right corner, you see we have these three dots. So you can select it. And here is the option of scan for S Pen Pro. So you can select it. 
the next thing is here on your s pen pro you have two buttons so this is the first button and here this is the second button for making the connection you have to press and hold this button for three seconds so i will press and hold it for three seconds and then you will see this led light will start blinking okay and here on your device it is also showing your s pen pro in available devices so you can select it like this and then it will start connecting your s pen pro with your samsung device so here you can see s pen is now connected and ready to use it is also showing you the battery percentage so here you can see currently it is 90 percent charge the next thing is how to customize the air actions so here you can see we have this first option of air actions so you can select it and here you can see we have all the customizations available for example the press and hold button feature currently set for camera you can select this option from here and then you can select any other app from here if you want to charge this s pen pro so here at the back side of s pen pro you can see we have this lid so you can easily open this lid so here you can see you can easily open it like this and you can use the type c charger so i will show you so here we have this type c charger you can easily connect it at the back side of your s pen pro so you can just connect it like this and then your charging will start so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much